five, four, three, two, one, zero. This is Westmarch News, news from the people of Westmarch. I'm Mike McAllister. We're heading down I-5, and then we're going to go ahead and take a crossover past Tehachapi, and then we're going to go ahead and arrive at Corona, California. It's in the San Bernardino area. Welcome to the annual Once Upon a Time event. This location is filled with not only a place for LARPers, but it also has buildings, structures, full structured buildings. I kid you not. If you've never heard of this place and never seen it, you need to come on out and check it out for yourself. If you find yourself coming in at night, no worries. They got a really good valet coming from our greatest valet experts, Rock Paper and Kiltar. Thanks, guys. Wait a minute. Is that a castle in the background? Holy cow. There's a castle on the property. I have never seen such a place. I'm sure there have been others that have seen such things, but not me. It's a first time for me. This is amazing. Look at that view. Now, apparently, there were some LARPers that were in a squatting predicament amongst the property. They were told nicely that they couldn't squat here and had to go squat somewhere else on the property. Perhaps a designated location. With enough help from their friends and comrades, they made this possible. Good job, guys. What a way to look out for one another. You know, I also hear the Macy's Float Parade is also hiring these days. Maybe you guys should go ahead and check that out. You never know. LARPers were told that squatting is not allowed on the property. But luckily, our people complied. And they prepared for the next day for games, quests, and combat. I don't know how to use doors. I never learned. This one actually does need tent stakes because of the way that's Uh, We just put stuff in the sides. Well, this one is necessary to have tent stakes because... What's March Forces and the Zombie Prevention Program did locate a zombie nest in the area. It appears there was a dungeon located in the vicinity, and therefore it was heavily investigated. We go now to go ahead and call Bear Bear the champion and give us some more details about what they may have discovered inside the zombie nest. Bear Bear, are you with us? Yeah, I'm here, unfortunately. Good. Could you tell us about what you discovered in this area, about the zombie nest? Well, it appears here that um, Westmarch Forces and uh, ZPP did a really good job on clearing this area. Um, it appears that the zombies uh, took over this uh, location. There was like a small village, and then there was an underground facility. And in that underground facility led to another structure. Now, what we wanted to tell the public is that these zombies actually have some intelligence of uh, putting some necromancy magic together and also uh, leading into some uh, underground facilities as well. Now, could you tell us some more about these uh, necromancy magic and these underground facilities? Yeah, um, it appears uh, data that's coming from our uh, wizards, uh, they say that they're working on some dark magic. Now, we've not seen this kind of um, data from this realm, but according to a portal that was opened back from the Feast of Odin, uh, we're seeing a, a whole new species of the undead. In fact, I think this undead strain took over the recent undead that we were fighting. It's as if they combined and became one big giant entity now. Uh, we're doing the best we can with our forces to uh, do what we can throughout the kingdom 
to keep this um, spread from uh, increasing and to keep our people safe. Now, we did find a facility that was filled with vials and a collection of brewed up potions. We're gonna go ahead and seize this property and bring it over to the lab to find out what kind of necromancy uh, was being uh, conjured here. All right, well be sure to update us about that champion. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. Well done, West March. Ashen Grove is saved. And once upon a time, is safe as well. Our people continue on with fighting, ditching, questing, and even having civil riots in the middle of the street. Lay on. Oh, oh, the Oh my gosh, would you believe it? This place even comes with a battle arena. Yes, a battle arena. Where our people eagerly wait to see our new knights to come into the realm. Congratulations, Sir Spade. Your honor is valued, and we are so proud of you. We also have another person that was valued to become a knight as well. Dame Wendy. Congratulations to you as well, Dame Wendy. We are also proud of you. What the heck? This place even comes with a tavern? Oh man, I would usually say you gotta be kidding me, but I like this place. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this stuff doesn't end. Even the goblins were running a carnival at night. You could risk yourself at the ring toss, goblin bowling, and heck, even Jenga. They even had cotton candy. Mmm, cotton candy. I want some more right now, now that I think about it. Oh, and don't forget to turn your bloodstones in for some of those groovy prizes. Well, it's been fun, folks. This is Westmarch News. I'm Mike McAllister, signing off. In the meantime, have fun, enjoy Ampguard, tell your friends, and lay on. Take care. <laughs>